motu ana te wā ki tētehi kuini. Ara mai rā he kuini hō. Seven coveted crowns. Miss Team. Miss Multicultural. Mrs. Rotorua. Miss Manawahine. Miss Tiarawa. Me te taitara whakaihu waka. Tua Wahine Rotorua. Good luck, ladies. They're going to deliver the best show we've ever done. Kua tai mai, te wā, ladies. You've made it. It's the final rehearsal, and we're at the venue where we're having the grand finals event. <laughs> Our lighting and sound crew have shown up two hours late and it's taken them three hours to pack in, which means we're five hours behind schedule and the ladies have not had an opportunity to rehearse. So you'll come out and you'll stand up on here. Is that high? Is that safe? Alongside being late, the AVT forgot to bring steps for the stage. Is there a step? How are we going to use that? And high heels and evening gowns. I was going to say, girls with the dresses that have a split are going to be fine. It's the girls with the long, going to have to do the knee tuck. So you lift the back of your dress or the front, and then your foot. See, one's already high. fallen. Uh, so yes, yeah, don't do that. Your foot goes No, we up can't the back. do away with that. Because we pay for it, I'm not doing away with it. I just saw China and everything she had for breakfast. <laughs> the other night I was sitting down in my chair. My kids are all gone to bed, and I'm I'm looking through photos of bef of me before pageant and now, and I was. Like, yeah, it's just like, wow, that's not me. Is that me? Four, eight, one, two, three. Beautiful. This photo makes me cry every time I look at it. This is me, a straight, sober, beautiful me. Um, yeah. Yeah, sorry, but I think I'm just on and I think I'm ready for crowning night. Yep, definitely. Ite ne po kava ka nui a ngā wahine. Ko puta nei te ihu. Everything must be perfect. E rongo ana a kau ite wera wera. Maui can jump down and do it with the curtains. Koina te koina te momo o te tua wahi ne rotorua me na he mahi he mahi nga mahia te koe te ra i mahi. And that box has to go. Can't have that on the stage. Sloppy. We've got to try and move this. This stage is not safe. And if I need to stand on somebody's neck to get it up to grade, I will. Kimuri e Mauri Tauana. So it's Patrick Curls, hairspray, set it, lights, camera, action, ready to go. Kāre wetehi i puta. It's been touch and go for others. Karawe, wahuki mai koe, Miss Caitlin. I came back because I got peer pressured. No, <laughs> because um, Kita made me do it. But I'm actually glad. 
She did join for me after all. Is there a sash from this whole heart? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> to be me. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you now, Morgan's not here for a crown. Caitlin's not here for a crown. Jade is not here for a crown either, but the rest of them, they're all here for that crown. <laughs> Keeping it real. Auntie Nataria. The ladies couldn't do it without you. Did you just want that port in a bit? Okay, I've got hardly any white left because I've had to use it. Oh, you need some more thread? Yeah, I do. Te manako, kwarite kwe mihitai. I would love to win mana wahine. I think um, I nail that sash pretty well. This gown that I'm wearing at the moment just arrived 7.30 this morning, hot off the courier. There's been a little bit of a malfunction and I can't actually get out of it, so um, it's a bit of a giggle at the back there. We've all been trying to get me out of it so I can get into the next gown. <laughs> Is there visuals happening? What's happening with lighting? Can you let the Spotify please? What the fuck is going on? I can waste my six grand. Go and fuck up the music. It's half an hour before the show. People are coming soon. I had a time I called you with you with Pukinga. Fuck up on one hour. Yeah, how one no? In our time, my mother called. Tau hau au ki roto i te rawa. He kātahi anō ia ka tohu mai ki au, mau anō te rawa hanga e whakahaere. Uh, engari, ki a hau nei kāre ana kupu uh, i te aromai, aromai ki a hau, ki te tangata o takutaha ke. I might start underperforming. I hope this show comes together. Tēnā nō tātou e te whare. Te whare e whawhāo a te ao kapurangi. Nei rā te mehi kau atu ki a koutou katoa i tēnei o ngā pō whakahirahira, pō whakanui i ngā tua wahine o Rotorua. Go out there, own that stage. No people are there to support you. And it's going to be a beautiful night and all the best to whoever takes that crown. Wahine mā, tāne mā, ki a rite mai e te whare. It's showtime. It is now our time to introduce you all to our Miss Rotorua pageant contestants. <laughs> Miss Jevi Bassicall. <laughs> Miss Jade Fearley. Loved getting to know everyone, and it's just been so good. Can't wait to see who gets crowned. I'm thinking Jevy, to be honest, or Eden. Miss Eden Bronze. I personally don't want to win a crown, only because I do have plans to serve a mission next year. I think I got the crowd, you know, engaged and, um, but yeah, pretty good overall. And yeah, ready for the next one, the evening wear. And yeah. Ms. Lua Balfour. <laughs> Ms. Karina Symington. This is just the best opportunity that's ever happened to me and I'm really grateful to be here. Yes, my name is Karina Moana Symington and I am Miss Rotorua 2022. <laughs> Miss Fashion 2022, Miss Karina Symington. Karina came here to find a husband. I hope with the new title Miss Fashion, that she can. Good luck. Miss Personality, Miss Mihitai Bukebuke. <laughs> Miss Caitlin Roberts. Everyone says that prison wifeys will always stray, but I think that's stupid. Missing you and putting on my happy face, 
has been one of the hardest things I have ever had to embrace. Miss Chloe Pike. Last year, me wouldn't have made it to crowning night. Last year, me wouldn't have even been able to practice on the stage. For Miss Rotoroa, honestly, I believe Shakira is going to win. Miss Shakira Ututong. I'm serving a rose gold number on the night, and Dad is coming to pageant, and I think he's leaving his patch at home. <laughs> My family are all coming and I think they're really proud of me um, for doing something like this. Also got a corset vibe for my talent so I can sit in without looking to put G on the angles. So I'm performing a infill service of eyelashes on one of my best friends. I'm a lady of many hats so to showcase that in two minutes has been difficult. We make room for the bunda, first of all. <laughs> this year's pageant has really been diverse and different body shapes and different styles, all sorts. It's been amazing. Miss Beaton's Choice, Miss Shakira Ututama. Yeah, I'd just like to send love to everybody that supported me and everybody that voted on the People's Choice photo. Um, just, yeah, everybody that shared the love, shared the donations and made me who I am today because it takes a community to grow a girl. Hoki mai ano ki te pō krauna o tua wahine rotorua the sparkliest show in town. In this dress, I feel like a princess. Um, this is the first opportunity and probably the last that I'll wear something so valuable, so I'm very happy. Honestly, it's pretty tight this year with a lot of beautiful contestants, but in my opinion, throughout the year, I think Eden will win this photo. And now, Miss Teen, I am aware there's only two contestants for this title, me or my friend. Personally, I would say myself, but it's a fair game between both of us. Because we were told we were both going to get the title, but now it's like... It's like there's four of us. It's like get ratioed. <laughs> Eden oh, well. Bronze? No. Literally. I'm banking on Eden. Miss Jasmine Clark. I'm really, really excited. Because I'm a performer, I guess I'm not really nervous. Miss Morgan Hurihanga Nui. For my talent, I am going to be singing what was going to be mine in my partner's wedding song. I'm going to be in a wedding dress as well. I'm going to be wearing our tonga and I also have a pake around me. Now I can hear him. Just come on, mama. <laughs> it's all right, you can do it. I'm here, I'm right beside you. A beautiful woman that you are, with so much soul. And one of the most precious people we've ever had in the pageant. Miss Harmony Wutika. My role isn't just to be a mother. It is to support, uplift, empower 
all those other women, males too, that go through the struggles and let them know it. it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> you want my honest opinion? It could have been better. Very, very nervous, but I learned to just... <sighs> I don't want to do it again, though. <laughs> Billy Dorset. Them, they, what? Okay, Billy. It's been amazing watching your development. Yeah, give me that nice smile again. One, two, three. Billy Dorset identifies as non binary. The jawline, mm. the cheekbones, really beautiful. Mm. Almost Audrey Hepburn esque. Mm. Miss Angel McEnroe. Yeah. We did it. Here we are. This is our final night. Look at us all. You know, we've all changed so much since the start of the first letter camp. Would I like a crown? Um, truthfully, when I first started, I didn't feel worthy of a crown. Oh, perfect. But now that I've made it this far, I do want a crown badly. <laughs> I do, like, honestly. I just want to put myself out there, to be honest. I just want to walk their stage, tell my story, make me feel complete, make me feel healed. That's all I want. <laughs> but yeah. The sparkle in her eye that was dim when she'd see her mother cry. The sparkle in her eye that her father put out when he started to victimise with his lies. She seen the beatings and she heard my cries. A warrior mother who tries moving cities to escape the fries. My daughter will not be sugar-coated in lies. My daughter will not learn to let shit slide. My daughter will grow up watching me grow my pride. And she will learn to hold her head high and know I've tried. Angel Mankalo Ngatoro. The first day I met her, she couldn't even look me in the eye and hold a conversation. The second day I met her, her face was bashed up. And then she made it to the end of the crowdy night, standing in all her glory, all her mana and all her beauty. One of the proudest achievements of my life is working with Angel, and I'm so happy that she's made it to the end. My name is Angel Mankalo Natsuro, and the generational trauma stops with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, without further ado, a kwene kakorona tia a tua wahine rotorua, rua ngahuru marua. Miss Rosemary Poy. Miss Taina Cassidy. Yeah, at the beginning, I definitely was like, give me a crown. Um, <laughs> every time I saw one, I just put it on and was like, yes. Now it's kind of just like, oh, I just want to do it. I just want to get it done. Like, if I win, I win. If I don't, then I learn so much. Taina's a really cool person, and she's someone that's misunderstood. And I have a lot of respect to her as a creative person and, and an artist. She's so cute. Um, this is me. Yeah, no, I think I've changed a bit, eh? Hey? Look at that, there's barely a smile on it. God. <laughs> yeah, no, I've grown so much since then. I noticed, like, I don't have the old threat. <laughs> Three piercings, so I think Carl did, did give me a growling for that. Miss Top Model, Miss Tina Cassidy. Ko wai atu ko to tato nei wahine ara ko miritika rau kawatait. Yes, what am I going to do for the, for the talent section? I don't much have much of a talent. And then I thought, well, uh, I mean, I speak. What will people say? 
How often do we allow that little voice to get into our head? What will people say? And if we do that, if we allow that little voice to be heard, we shrink our lives and we were never meant to live small. I think I did very well. I spoke from the heart. It really is about not letting anybody tell us how we should live our lives, particularly that little voice that says to us, what will people say? And so we, we, but then we, we don't do what we'd like to do. So even though I got big and even though I look at that photo now, I think, yes, Metapeka, you were you're a quite handsome woman, but um, it was... It's different, and I don't know if I would like to go back. I don't think I will, and I don't think I should. <laughs> I'm on a journey. Ka tahi te hi koe rere hua ko tēnei wahi ne mā. Ladies and gentlemen, kia whaka hua tia ke e au, ngā toa whakaihu waka. Mrs. Rotorua is Mrs. Lua Palfrey. Miss Multicultural, Miss Jevi Bassett. Yeah! Yes, Jeff! Second runner up for Miss Team is Billy Dorset. First runner up, Miss Angel McEnroe. Not so bad. Miss Teen, Paki Paki Mai e te whare, Miss Jasmine Hull. Yeah! <laughs> Miss Manawahi Nair, Miss Celestina Aulele Grant. <laughs> Celestina, you are a mama wahine. Emotional roller coaster the last week of the pageant was for you, losing your sister and being crowned as Miss Manawahine. Oh, I feel like I'm going to cry for her. Miss Tiarua, first runner up is Miss Morgan Tehurihanga Nui. Miss Tarawa o te tua wahine o Merepeka Raukawata. At the age of 73, your beauty is still radiant. Meripika, it was truly an honour to work with you. You really have proved that age is nothing but a number. She has opened it up, so we may see a lot more matured ladies entering in the future. She was just a real treat to have, and she was wonderful with the girls too. Ko te tua wahine o Rotorua Rua Mano Rua Te Kaumārua. And the name we've been waiting for all night, all year actually, Miss Rotorua 2022 is Miss Eden Bronze. <laughs> E mōhi o pai ana hau he rangatahi tonu e ia. Engari, he mea pai tērā. Nā te mea i pakeke a kauji, tōna pakeke nei a hau. Nā reira, kua tau mai te tehi wairua rangatahi ki te taitara o Ms. Rotorua. Eden, come out there with he. I have a vision of beauty, but like diamonds and geysers, beauty is created under pressure. Ko 
congratulations, Eden, our new Miss Rotorua 2022. You look beautiful in this custom Carl Weedy per gown that has been all over the world in Paris and London. I look forward to the year ahead. Thank you. Take it.